G'day tubers, welcome back. So, a week and a half, two weeks ago, I did the Vanon battery review of the Vanon battery that I received from them for purpose of review. I didn't pay for it, um, and the, the sequence of events is they messaged me saying, would you like to do a review? I sent a message back saying, yeah, I'll take six. I've got to get paid to do it, right? Um, and my thought was I could give a couple away and then keep a couple for myself and everybody would win. Uh, they come back, they, can set, they said they can send me two. Uh, they said they could send me a 6 amp hour and a 4 amp hour. A couple of weeks had passed, no contact from them, no, no product arrived, so I messaged them back and I said, you know, are we going to do this or not? I said, oh yeah, yeah, sure, we're just low on stock. We'll shoot you, we'll shoot you some over now. Um, anyway, um, this one arrived, which was the 6 amp hour, uh, with no others, and I thought, oh well, a 6 amp hour, at least I can do a video on it. And um, as soon as I did open it up, I did see the Samsung cells there, and it's not focusing. Um, more on that in a minute and I was I, w I was impressed there is, there is nothing in the last video that I did or said that I didn't mean at the time of doing that video now since I've reached out in the comment section below the other video I've gone through and asked a lot of people saying hey have you got one of these batteries there from six months ago 12 months ago whatever um, can you just pop the five screws out being very careful not to damage yourself or the battery itself and let me know what a cells are inside of it and you can go back to the comment section, I'll leave a link below uh, to that last video and have a look at the comments there and read them for yourself. But basically a few said, yeah, you know, they, they're, they're alright cells but they don't appear to be Samsung's. And then I reached out to a couple more and said, if you buy some of these cells, please send me some photographs. Well, this happened last night. Um, I got two I got two emails with two separate uh, lots of photos, one with one photo and one with a couple, or four or five photos, I think. Now, what I've decided to do is... Uh, to keep this conversation in one place and you can't put photos on on YouTube so I'm going to do it over on the on the forum link below and we're gonna create a little list of people that have bought after I did the review of this I'd like to know anybody that bought a six hour power pack from Vanon eBay wherever and got Samsung cells such as these now I'm going to take that a little bit further now, I'm going to start pulling this apart on camera. It's going to be a little bit of a no edit video because, look, it might not be worth it. Um, I'm not saying for a second that this was a bad battery because I think it's a bloody solid battery actually. And I still believe that. But if what happens if they sent me this one and just sent me a really good one and then sold everybody else average ones. Uh, they did end up sending me... A Vanon battery, a second one. Now it's a four, 4 amp hour. Now I didn't get this one until the last day of filming the last video. And I didn't really look at it because I was so tied up trying to finish that last video up. But if you look at one of the last frames in that video, it actually had 4 amp hour battery because I must have swapped them over at some stage and I didn't realize it. So now I have a second battery. Now that second battery does not hold a candle to the first battery. Now, I am not here to burn Vanon. I, I'm going to say that. Um, but I am s certainly not here to burn you guys either. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this one apart. I've already taken the screws out. And this one does not have Samsung batteries in it. Uh, it has... I can hardly read it. They, it's really poor writing on it. I'm going to have to actually extract one of the cells. But it says, Caution, use battery pack, makers, system, international only. There's no... I really, I really can't see any markings on that at all. And the, 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 the writing is extremely faint. And given that my, bad so my eyesight is getting... Um, getting pretty horrible I'm gonna to have to get them out but those cells are certainly not the same quality as what they appear to be uh, now the only way I can actually really prove that these are 30 Q's and I still believe they are I've said that a few times I reckon what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extract two cells from each pack and then I'll put them in my opus and I'll start testing them so I'll start the test today. We'll, we'll take these apart live on camera now. 
um, we'll put them in the opus and then do as many cycles as I can before I start getting bored. Um, I would like to hit like a hundred cycles. Now it is coming into winter here so it is nice and cool. By the time I finish we're going to be dead in the middle of winter. Um, my shed goes from like four degrees at night time when I will be doing some of the tests up to like 25 to 30 degrees during the day. So there will be some disparities in the actual tests themselves just based on the heat and like the temperature difference. But I'll take photos of every single um, every single cycle and we'll load them up on the forum over there as well and then we'll, we'll see where we end up. Let's pull these things apart and have a closer look. So six hour, four amp hour, four amp hour, six amp hour, radio. Now I guess the plan is to lift off some of these I'm not sure on the focus. Pulling them off. Now bearing in mind I just did this last week with the um, with the Ryobi batteries and it actually took quite a bit to get off and it destroyed the nickel strip doing it. But this does appear to be peeling off with little to no effort at all. That didn't even tear the nickel strip. Alright, we've got some photos of that as well. We'll go pop around to the other side. Now I'm hoping we can just push those out. It doesn't look like that's going to be very difficult at all. Let's see if we can lift this side up without a similar amount of damage. Okay, that was, that's the positive, the negative side was on a lot better than the positive. Got to be careful. Now I reckon these are probably just gonna push out, with the exception of that sticky stuff, the double-sided tape or something. Probably to try and lessen the vibrations or something. There we go. So there's a Samsung. Now, in my mind, I've pulled a lot of parts, of packs apart, and that really does look like a Samsung cell. And then that one there just slid straight out. So we've got a little bit of tape or something covering the, the lettering. Grab some better photos of that for you. Now one of them, I've damaged the end part a little bit, so I probably would consider that a candidate for re-wrapping if it was on the positive side. But I think what we should do is take the opportunity to peel the wrapper off and have a look what's underneath. So that wrapper qu seemed quite thin. Now I don't know what these numbers mean, I won't pretend to know. But we have B, no, we've got, what is it, HBB9. Again, I'll take some more photos. Then we've got J0F2, 62161, written on the cell itself, uh, with no other defining marks on it or anything like that. Righty-o, so we've got one cell out. Let us pull apart the 4 amp hour. See if we do that the same way. It appears to have the same sort of spot welding technique with three spot welds per cell. We've got a little bit that didn't come off on that one. I 
I don't know if I'm being a little bit rougher on this one, but it seems like it's a little bit harder to pull apart. So we're just going to pull it apart. I'm going to have to replace this anyway, it's mangled on that one. Now that cell looks vastly different to any other cell I've ever seen. Uh, maybe because it was on the negative side, not the positive side. So I might have taken off a different cell. My apologies about this sort of video. It's going to be a, a little edited video. I'm just going to rip it out there to put the information out there as fast as possible. Um, I would have done this last night, but I really needed sleep. It's been a long week of work. There we go. So it seems like the positive end is a whole heap easier to get off than the negative. Um, it stands to reason. But those two cells just pop straight out. So these ones are saying they are LG DBH GL1865 and then a P383J091A1. We'll take some photos of that. These ones do have the cell protectors on top, where the other ones didn't. I don't. We'll pop Similar one of these off. The ones well. that Keith sells. Actually, I think they're exactly the same as the one Keith sells. Grab some photos. Now, what I've never seen is this warning on the back. I've tried to take four photos of that to try and get the, the glare off of it. No, I can't read that. I'll have to I'll have to see if it comes up any better on the actual photographs. Um, or I'll flatten it out once I take this, this, this cover off. So we'll slide this cover off, this one. Now I didn't pay for this pack either. I got it given for review. Radio. Yeah, that does seem quite thin on the actual shrink. All right. If you go onto the cell database, which I will in a minute, we'll have a look at what that cell, if that cell is actually in the cell database, and we'll compare it to the images. Now I've never seen an LG cell with that lip on the bottom of it ever. Unfortunately, I gave away a huge amount of um, cells the other day, and each cell's different. I understand that gets made in a different factory, but that's an LG out of the um, Ryobi one. And see, there's no lip. There, there shouldn't be that ring there. I've never, I've never seen that. Where are you? I'm hoping I have given you enough information so far. Let's grab a pen and just drop LG on this one. And there's no markings on this one at all. LG and this one's a Sam so we know which one's which right yet well, we might put the ring isolators back on the top of these two so we can pop them in the discharge a little bit safer it's not recommended to do this at all because it will short out but I will be especially careful especially is that even a word Right here, we'll go the LG on the right. Now what I'm going to do to put these in safely is pull it all the way down. Pop the positive in first. There we go. Then we LG. The second one. Now we're going to cycle these at one amp. Just so it's a little bit faster. There we go. So we're going to put it on uh, charge and test. Hold that down. There we go. So we're doing one amp. Start. Display. All the voltages. And the milliamp. Right here, we got those four cells on the discharger. So we're just going to charge and discharge them as many times as I possibly can over the next few weeks. And I'll let you know. I'll be sure to let you know after this video. I'll change the thumbnail at the end of it to link to that video when that's done. 
uh, or you can pop over to the forum again link below and I will every day that I do it or every couple of days depending on time I'll upload all the photos of those cells and how much they charge and discharge and stuff like that if you've got anything specific you want me to test I'd be more than willing to help with that um, and if you've got any other laptop um, van on batteries that you bought after I did my video I would be super keen to get those photographs over on the forum as well so let's do this right and let's make it right if it was if, you know if that was set up at all sending me awesome batteries and sending the rest of the planet out bad batteries let's put it out there this is probably going to get me burnt but I'd much rather burn them than burn you guys um, I don't want to be the person that does a review of a, something that appears to be good and doesn't actually turn out that way but that is yet to be proven we don't know that yet this could be just luck let's see how we go cheers tubers thank you very much for tuning in i'll see you on the next one thank you